Hello Internet and happy holidays to everyone! Christmas is about spending time with family and friends, and it's about creating happy memories and certainly taking a lot of pictures of your best moments. And today I'm going to show you how to go one step farther by turning these pictures in amazing 3D animations using Adobe After Effects. And to do this, I used a template called Volumax 3D Photo Animator. You can find it on Envato. You can animate portraits, landscape and more. There are plenty of video tutorials included to help you step by step. Your animated creations can of course be posted on social media like Instagram or Facebook to impress your audience. Ok, so I'm starting with the first picture, uh, the easiest one. Once your picture imported in Volumax, uh, you can activate uh, for this picture the Smart Mask tool. Create uh, some close, mid and far mask here in yellow, orange and red. You can see them here, three layers. This is not a tutorial, I'm just showing how I did all this. You can see now that automatically your desk map is created. You can volumize it. It's like blending uh, the layers between themselves. Uh, so in this case I want it very blended. I can add some detail here. And I can start playing around with my controller here. And it works quite nicely. Now I'm playing with the parallax left-right. Uh, low values on portraits or uh, close pictures like this and uh, up, down and zoom parallax. Uh, of course you can add some dirt, particles, some flares, you can add some uh, light leaks or do some basic adjustments and uh, even use presets for uh, Instagram looks. Uh, here I added some text, you can change your font and of course move it in 3D space with your picture. In this picture, I used a new feature that's going to be released very soon in the next version of Volumax. It's the ability to mix the two techniques, the Smart Mask tool for the backgrounds and the 3D Portrait tool for the portraits. And that way you will have the ability to have very precise depth maps in minutes. So first of all, we worked our Smart Mask tool with three layers over here. So the close, mid and far. I'm gonna put back the volumize now and add a little bit of detail. But you can see that the portraits are very very blurry and won't be very accurate in Volumax. So uh, I worked the two portraits in the 3D portrait tool like uh, in the older versions of Volumax by moving the wire mesh over the picture. And once I'm glad of my work I used the new feature of mixing the 3D portrait tool with my smart mask tool in the background, this way. And you can see that the result is very very satisfying in this example. I still recommend using 100% 3D portrait tool technique for characters close to the camera like in this previous YouTube tutorial. The setup will be faster and results will be very accurate. And you can see in this example that the background doesn't need any 3D effect here. For this picture I saved the child in a PNG separated and I cleaned the background with the content fill aware option in Photoshop. I imported the background in my picture in Volumax in After Effects. I created this the close, mid and far and added a floor in the Smart Mask tool. Here is my death map with some volumize and detail. And I tested all this with the controller in the main comp. Also testing the parallax zoom here. Then I imported the child in the object 1. Over here I added an auto displacement map uh, with this button over here in Volumax. Going back to the main comp, and then I'm adjusting his position in space. Here is uh, how it moves once I found the right uh, Z position. I can adjust the displacement on the child uh, by relaxing uh, or boosting the displacement map. 
I added some depth of field over here and adjusted the focus points like this. It's very easy to do. For this last example, I processed exactly the same way. I extracted the family and uh, cleaned the background. I did a close far uh, mask and a ground to have my displacement map with the Smart Mask tool. You can see it works uh, nicely here uh, with the controller moving in space and some parallax testing over here. The characters were imported in Object 1 and I added some uh, puppets uh, on them for animation. I added some snow and some uh, snow uh, in Photoshop on a separated layer just in front of the characters to get some more FX and uh, 3D effects over here. And here you can see all the layers activated. Thank you for watching. Bye.